all of that being said, I guess, what does this mean for the typical person going into 2023? Are you optimistic, pessimistic? Do we need to brace ourselves? What's next? Um, so so moving into the 2023, the year's gotten off to a really great start. I mean, I mean Bitcoin's up, I think, 37% year to date so far. I mean, certainly it was down, I think, like 65, 70% in 2022. So we, that context is important, but but markets are going up. Crypto is outperforming NASDAQ, uh, the S&P 500. Um, Ether's up. 30 something percent. Um, we're seeing other tokens like like Optimism, which is a token used on a scaling network for Ethereum that is up uh, like 130 percent so far on, on the month. So so there is there is some excitement there. Uh, and but but I would still exercise a bit of caution here. Uh, I, I mean, is, is this really kind of like a, like a, like a bear rally or are we actually turning the corner? I'm still skeptical that we've turned the corner. Uh, I mean, as much as people were excited about the 25 basis point increase from from the Fed, if you look in some of his comments, Chairman Jerome Powell still said that inflation is persistent and that they're insistent on bringing it down to, to 2%. So I still think the economy is going to feel some more pain. Prices might still come down. Uh, I'm also disappointed to see some of the real fraud that's coming out of the market. Like there's one token called Aptos, which was founded by a few ex-Facebook engineers that is up something like 400% year to date. And uh, my sense is that a lot of this is due to um, what what seems to be uh, restrictive token economics and and, and just, just hopium more than any real world usage. And, and in some ways it's disappointing to see prices just surging up in a manner similar that we saw in years past when folks knew that it was unsustainable. Uh, so important to kind of keep all that perspective. I am optimistic overall for the direction of the crypto market in 2023 because of how painful 2022 was and how acutely painful it was for crypto because aside from just the market downturn, I had to deal with all the bankruptcies that the rest of the, the market did not. But I would caution investors to just remember why you invested in crypto in the first place and 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 don't think about this on a day-to-day or week-to-week or even month-to-month basis. Now, most VCs invest in crypto projects hoping to see a return in five to seven years. And, and I typically suggest that people feel people take the same approach as well. If you have money that you're going to need a month from now, don't put it into Bitcoin because you could lose half of it. You could lose all of it. Uh, certainly, you could also go up 400 percent. But is it really worth that risk? Uh, I mean, this is an, an alternative asset class that um, should be treated as such in investment portfolios. Stephen Ehrlich, I really appreciate your outlook and your insight. Thank you so much. Great. Thanks for having me.